Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about apply function of pandas. Applying a function to all rows in pandas data frame is one of the most common operation for cleaning and unify messy and complex data set for easy access and analysis. So guys, pandas data frame apply function is most of the appropriate function for this kind of stuff. In this lecture, we will look at how to apply a function to a pandas data frame using some examples in greater detail. So guys, let me go to the Jupyter notebook. So first of all, let me import the library of pandas. And now I want to read the data. So simple df, which is pd dot read CSV. And this is my the CSV name. Let me show you the shape. And this is my the data. Fine. So guys, this is my data set. And on this data, I will use pandas apply function. So first of all, let me show you the syntax of apply function. So simple df, which is apply and question mark. So guys, in apply function, these are the signature and it's docker string and you should focus on parameter. So guys, in pandas apply, we have to pass the function to each row and column. And here are the axis which represent zero for index, which means row and one for column. And the by default is zero. These things you need to remember. Now let me close this. So now the question is how we can uppercase of a customer name, right? So I'm going to taking a variable or you can say that column name, which is customer uppercase and here I'm using df and the column name which is customer fine and simple I'm using apply and here I'm using my lambda function so simple lambda and this is lambda variable and here I'm going to define the simple expression which is name dot upper simple now let me run this df dot head Fine. So guys, you can see here using the apply, we can perform this kind of operation very quickly. And guys, in the same way, if you count the customer length, yes, you can count the customer length as well. So simple DF. And again, I'm going to taking a column, which is customer length equal to DF, which is customer and apply simple length. Now DF dot head. Okay. And guys, now the interesting question is, how we can find the maximum row based on total sales amount. Okay. So for an example, let's say I'm using here df dot lock. I want all the records. So from the customer column, I want total sale amount, right? So guys, I want only customer city quantity price and total sales amount, right? And here I'm using apply what I want. I want max simple. You can provide the max here. Okay. And you need to define the axis, which is rows. That's it. Now let me run this. So guys, you can see here, we are getting the total sales amount, which is 533.5. Okay. So how we can verify. So simple, we can use print max of DF, which is quantity. And in the same way, print max of DF, which is total sales amount. Now let me run this. So guys, we are getting 10, which is maximum quantity for the this customer. And in the same way, we are getting the sales, which is maximum sales, fine. And guys, now the another question is how we can round up this particular total sales amount, right? So what I'm doing here, I'm going to import a library of NumPy, simple NP. And here, what I'm doing, I'm using DF. And again, I'm going to create a column, which is amount sale equal to df, which is total sales amount, simple apply. And here you can use np.seal, simple. Now let me run this. So guys, you can see here, we have round the total sales amount, right? And guys, now the next question is how we can segregate the total sales amount, okay? So for an example, if sales is between zero to 50, right? Zero to 50, zero to 50, what I want, I want, Let's say between zero to 50, fine. In the same way, if I'm getting the sales between 51 to 100, right? Then what I want, I want between 51 to 100. And the last I want greater than 100. So how we can segregate the bucket, right? So guys, first of all, let me create a function, okay? So I'm going to create a user defined function. So def the function name, which is calculate sales. And here I'm using the variable, which is amount. So here I am checking all the condition. So if amount 
greater than equal to zero and amount less than equal to 50 right so what i want return between 0 to 50 fine alif amount is greater than equal to 51 and amount is less than equal to 100 and what i want return between 51 to 100 fine and the else condition is simple return greater than 100 now let me check this function is working or not so simple calculate sales and here i am passing let's say 75 so guys it is giving me correct answer or you can say that correct bucket right between 51 to 100 now the question is how we can apply this particular function on this entire data set okay now let me show you the data once again and now here I'm going to create uh, another column, which is sales category equal to DF, which is apply what, what I want. I want to apply this particular function using the Lambda. So Lambda, and this is my variable. And here I'm calling that particular function, which is calculate sales, right? And I'm going to call that particular variable, which is total sales amount, right? And here you need to define the axis equal to one now let me run this so df dot head so guys we are getting this particular sales category okay so simple df which is sales category unique so guys there are three buckets fine but guys remember one thing sometimes pandas apply function is slow on the large data set because it does not take the advantage of vectorization and it's working similar of looping concept in python programming okay so now let me show you how we can concatenate concatenate two columns okay two columns now i am going to create a, another function which is concatenate okay and here i am defining column one and column two any two column right simple return str column one plus str and column two simple okay now what i'm doing here df let's say combined column okay equal to df and here i'm using two columns which is customer right another column which is city and here i'm using the apply function so apply which is lambda again i'm calling that particular function name which is concatenate and guys here you need to define the first column which is customer okay or let me break the line customer and x again for city and again here the axis equal to one. now let me run this so df dot head so you can see here we have easily combined the two columns okay so guys now the question is what if if i will use this apply function on large data set Okay, so first of all, let me create the large data set. So let me insert couple of cell. So guys, what I'm doing here, I'm going to create a data frame, which is DF. So PD dot data frame. And here I'm passing the dictionary, right? First column name, which is X. NP dot random, which is the rand int. And here I'm using low, let's say 1000. And the size equal to 1 million rows I'm going to create. Fine. And the same thing I'm going to create for Y column. Okay. So this is for Y column. And again, np.random.randint. And here, this one, 1000. And again, the size equal to 1 million. Fine. Now let me run this. So simple df.shape and now df dot head okay so guys now again i'm going to create a ready-made function okay so what i'm doing here i'm going to create def add square right so here i'm passing the data frame itself fine now return df the variable name which is x the power 2 right plus df which is column name which is by 
and two. Fine. And guys, now I am going to use this particular function on this data frame using the apply function. Okay. So guys, first of all, let me call the magic method to calculate the time. Okay. So guys, using this statement, we can evaluate the time of particular cell, or you can say that execution time of that particular cell, right? Now, what I'm doing, I'm going to create a column, which is, let's say, add square, right? Equal to df, which is apply and add square. And here I'm using axis equal to one. And now let me run this. So guys, this function is running on 1 million of row and two column. As I told you, pandas apply function will work slow on large data set. So in some cases, if you are working on large data set, right, I will recommend to use the vectorization techniques. Okay. So vectorization technique will give you the better experience on large data set. And once you compare this processing speed, then literally you will surprise once you use the vectorization technique. Okay. And now you can see here, this function executed successfully in one minutes, 15 seconds. Okay. So now the question is how we can boost up the processing speed using the vectorization techniques. Okay. So guys, first of all, let me import the module, which is desk data frame as DD. And here I'm going to create a Dex data frame DD, which is from pandas. And here I'm using my data frame name, which is DF. And this is the end partition and partition means number of partition. So number of partition I'm using here four. Okay. Now let me run this DDF. So guys, now you can see here, I have partitioned the data into four intervals. Okay. Now again, let me use the magic method. And now I am using DDF. Okay. The same column I'm using, which is add square. So add square. Okay. Using desk. Okay, equal to DDF, which is map partition. And here simple, I'm calling that particular function. That's it. Okay, now let me run this. So guys, now you can see here, wonderful. It took only 14.3 millisecond to calculate this operation on 1 million of rows. Okay, so now you can assume how the vectorization technique is very powerful on the large data set. Fine. Now let me show you the data. So df, ddf, which is head. Simple. Okay. So guys, this is all about pandas apply function. Again, pandas apply function work as loop in Python programming, and it is easy to use with Lambda function also. Okay. But if you are working on large data set, then I will recommend to use the vectorization techniques. Literally, it will give you the fast execution on large data set. Fine. So guys, if you have any question on pandas apply function, please let me know in the comment. And now it is your turn to practice. Thanks for watching and have a great day.